Welcome to our lecture online. If we take a look at this example, we notice there's a lot of cube exponents. Hmm, that makes us think that this may be the sum of cubes. And then when we realize that 27 can be written as 3 cubed, this can then be written as the quantity xy cubed plus the quantity 3w cubed. And now we definitely have the sum of cubes. And then we have to realize what the general format is of the factored form of the sum of cubes. So we have a cubed plus b cubed. That is equal to the quantity a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. And then if we realize that in our example that a is equal to x times y and b is equal to 3 times w, then if we substitute that into our equation there, we have, we then end up with the factored form of that particular example. So this is equal to a plus b will now be xy plus 3w times a squared, that will be the quantity xy squared minus, because we have a minus there, a which is xy times b which is 3w plus b squared, that will be 3w squared. And again, notice that it's not a bad idea to write it out first before you simplify it to avoid making mistakes. So this can now be written as xy plus 3w times, that would be x squared y squared, minus, here we write 3xyw, we typically put it in alphabetical order, and then plus 9w squared, and that's then the factored form of our original problem. So notice that this is definitely the sum of cubes. Write down the general formula, identify the a and b in your example, and that makes it a lot easier. And that is how it's done.